three, two, one. Hey, what is happening, guys? So in the last video, we created this logging form with some actions, hover effects, click effects. And after I posted the video, I took a look at this item icon and I said, damn it, I could have made this do something. So check it out. If you click on it, the logging form disappears. If you click on it again, the logging form appears with a small animation. So let's jump into the video and create this. And if you haven't seen it, then I would put a link down in the description with the previous video. And you can also download the code in the description below. So let's jump into it. So this is actually the code from the previous video. And I'm just going to change something here. So first of all, let's change something in the HTML. Let's create a section with a class of form container. Now we need to take out this user logo and put it outside our form. So let's create a form container section and just take this div with the class of user logo and cut it out. Control X, put it inside of here and also take out the form. There we have it. So the form is within this section container, or form container, and the logo is now outside. Actually, let me open this up. So there's our user logo and here's our form. Okay, now let's jump into our CSS. And there we have it. Let's grab on first of all to our class of form container. And I'm just going to comment this out. Let's say new or step two. Okay, now we have our class of form container and we had up here, we could actually just copy this, actually copy the entire login form because we're going to modify this and paste it under our form container. Now let's take all of the properties from the login form, paste into our form container. We're gonna, most of this, we're gonna leave as it is, but we're gonna take out the color, the padding, and we're also going to take out this box shadow and the rest we can leave as it is. So we got our form container and now let's change our login form. And now a couple of things we need to change within our login form. First of all, because it's it, it's within our form container, we'll tell it to have the width and the height of 100%. So it'll take up 100% of its own container. That the background color will live as it is, the border will live at it as it is, the box shadow. But now for, 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 for the top, we'll change it to zero pixels. This position is absolute and from the left, it will also go with zero pixels. Now we can take out the color and the border. And now for the padding, we're gonna type in four RAM, top and bottom, and one RAM left and right. Now I'm just going to grab onto these two items and comment this out. So I'll log in form up there, go back down and paste them in. Now let's take our user logo and also this icon right here. So the user logo and the user logo and the icon tag within them, paste them down here. And we will position this from the top, minus 50 pixels from the left, 100 pixels. And we'll give this a Z index of one and a cursor pointer. So if I hover over the icon, the cursor is, is pointer. Now for the user logo icon, let me just take all of this out. And I want the user logo icon when I hover over it. The icon itself to so change the color to white. Let me hover over this, this changes to white. Next up, we're gonna take out this transform translate and this will push down the the form, uh, the login form in our form container. So it's now completely contained within the form container. 
Okay, all we have to do now is just type in some JavaScript. Now let's create a new file, the app.js, include it into our HTML. So right underneath the section, let's type in script, the source of app.js. Now we need to grab onto two things. First being the, the user logo and then the login form. So we want when we click on the user logo, the login form to appear or to disappear. And for this, we're just going to copy user logo, go into FGS, create a const with the name of logo and let's grab on from the document query selector. We're going to grab onto the class of user logo. And don't forget the dot there. So we have this. I'm going to copy this one more time, rename it to form. And here we're going to grab on to our form login or login form. So we have this class and this class selected. Okay, now when the logo, let's assign it an event listener is clicked now we create an empty we create an arrow function we want the form to add a class list toggle and the class of active Now let's create this active class. So within our CSS, we're going to grab onto our user logo, or actually a login form, and right underneath the login form, we'll add this class of active. And when this class of active exists, we want the login form to be displayed as block. And when it doesn't exist, want the login form to be displayed displayed as none. So the class of active doesn't exist right now, is displayed as none. If we click on it, it's displayed as block. Now in order to create a smooth animation, we'll now create a keyframe. Let's type in add keyframe. And we will just name it form and now it has to have three steps so at zero percent we want to, to have it to have an opacity of zero and it should be at the top at zero pixels then at 70 percent we want it to still have the opacity of zero but the position should be now at the top with minus 100 pixels. And at 100%, we want it to have the opacity of one and should be top zero. Now let's include our animation within our form login. And just type in animation, then the name form, then the duration of 0.4 seconds and it is out. So let's take a look at this. If you hover over it, color changes. If we click it, it disappears. And if I would choose the right name, then this should actually also work. Okay, so now let's click on it and it slides easily in. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Sorry that I forgot to include it in the first one. Uh, so if you want to check out the first tutorial, you will find the link in the description below and you will also find the entire code in the description below. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell in order to get notified when I post videos like this. So catch you next time. Bye bye.